Step 1. We're gonna go to Google Chrome, Google, type in Trinity Creator. We'll go to this first link here on Owned Core. So this dude, the drummer or whatever his name is, he made an awesome video about how to use Trinity Creator. But there's so many questions, so many problems that users came across that aren't addressed in that video. So here I'm making this video. Let's go here to GitHub. Download this. We'll open it right up. By the way, I'll put all the links in the description down below. I already have it installed, but you'll just have to go through the install wizard. I promise it's not too difficult. Let's get this thing open. So, we're gonna choose the emulator profile. In my instance, I'm using 3.3.5a. We're gonna configure the database. So I'll show you exactly how to do this. I'm gonna open up where my World of Warcraft server is. In my instance, it's an AC web repack. Open up the world server conf. Hold down control and press F to go find world. Here we get all of the information that we need to put into the configure database. There's our IP, there's the port we're running on, the user, the password, and the world database name. We'll hit save configuration, and now you should be able to edit the items that you want to edit. So without further ado, let's get into the fun part. I'm picking a random item that I want to modify. So here I'm putting in the item ID. The display ID is the model and the entry ID is the item itself. So here we could type in the cloak. On the right side, we'll go to the model viewer. And where is it? Oh, I forgot to specify the column, so we gotta make sure it's the item that we're looking for. And then we can type in the item's name, Cloak of Fire Moth. And you can just type in cloak and it'll show you all the things that say cloak on it, but there you have your display ID. So that's what it looks like. Whereas the entry ID is just the item itself, because there's more than one item that looks the same. So those are using the same display ID. Entry IDs are unique display IDs or not. So here we can create our item. So we click export to database when your item is done. 
we'll go overwrite. If you don't want to overwrite it, we can put in something like any number starting with 500,000. So 500,001, 500,005, let's say. These are item entries that are not in the database currently. So we're making a brand new entry for it, which can bug some things up, especially if you're creating new weapons and you assign it to a 500,000 value. When you equip that weapon, it, you won't be able to use your class abilities. I mean, if you're pretty tech savvy, you could probably figure it out in the database. Maybe I'll make a different video for that, but for the time being, it's best to find an item that's already in the database and just overwrite it. So here we're gonna pick a mace that we want to overwrite. So we're going to be putting that mace display ID into the display ID section, but not the entry ID because we, we don't want to overwrite that mace that's already there. Instead we're going to take a mace that probably nobody's going to find or come across and it's going to be useless anyways. So we're going to pick this uncommon mace and put in that entry ID. And hopefully we'll make it look like the other mace by using that one's display ID. When we export a weapon, we're gonna get this box to pop up. And it's a short read that you can go over. It explains some things about how to export. But we're gonna hit delete and export to make sure that weapon goes into play. In Trinity Creator, you can make custom quests, loot, vendors. We're gonna close out our server and restart it. Otherwise, our new items aren't gonna be loaded in. And in our World of Warcraft server, we're going to delete the cache folder. Let's start spawning our items. So here's our Gimli's Basher. Dwarf exclusive. So this is the 5002 code. So as you can see, it works for armor and rings, accessories, things like that. Things that aren't weapons. And you know, here's the normal cape right here. So when it comes to armor, you can use the 500,000 entry ID so you don't overwrite anything. But when it comes to weapons, you should really overwrite an existing weapon. Otherwise your skills aren't gonna work. Here you can type an NPC add item to add those items to an NPC vendor. Here's a vendor that I added. He sells custom items that I've created. So now any player on the server can come to Tanaris to the pirate supplies to find black market goods. Of course they're not cheap. Let's 
I hope this video has been informative for you, and I would like to thank you for watching.